Well, so uh, since I read the the script for the first time, the series on paper, I when I saw the second that I saw that my character Simon was going to sing, I directly thought, "Oh my God, I need to record the songs and release them." So I just had it in mind since the beginning, and then it happened to be uh, it takes a full to remain saint. So I just recorded it at, at the same time I did uh, Remember. Uh, and I actually wanted to record the two Christmas songs as well because I sing the two Christmas songs in the series. But I was like, no, why? It's just weird to record like two Christmas songs in the middle of summer. So I was like, no. <laughs> but so I recorded those two songs and then I thought, oh my God, I need to like do an EP. So why not record a few more just for fun? Like songs that may be kind of is in the same world as it takes a fool to remain sane and the love between Simon and Wilhelm so I uh, thought about it a bit and then I recorded two songs but one of the songs didn't make it to the uh, EP uh, uh, but one of them did and it was uh, Symphony and by Zara Larson and uh, Symphony was actually the song that I was going to sing in the series instead of It Takes a Fool to Remain Sane. It was supposed to be Symphony in the first episode, but then they changed the song to the other one. So that is why I actually chose Symphony because I felt like it had something in common with the series and everything. So, yeah. Really cool. So I just tried to make it, you know, a little bit because that was the idea from the beginning to make it, you know, I, I wouldn't do these covers if it wouldn't be of uh the young world series well, so i just wanted to make sure that people understood that this is not me this is just something i do for fun with the series uh kind of it's not a you know a official release with netflix it's not it's just that i did it for fun me as an artist uh but i wanted people to understand that i did it because of the series so that's okay. why i took that picture with a crown <laughs> well, actually, right now I'm not that kind of busy. I, I'm actually chilling, uh, but I'm still working from from home, you know, kind of. I'm doing some calls. I'm trying to make an EP so I can release my own EP, and I'm going to drop a single really soon. So I've been recording that single at the same time I'm doing everything else. So, well, now it sounds like I'm so busy, <laughs> but I'm actually not that busy uh but i'm just chilling it's just fun i've been on social media a lot to you know interact with everything that is going on um and i'm just i don't know i feel like i'm just waiting for my time to come kind of uh i don't know it's just the ways the doors open and i'm on my way to something and i don't know what uh so i'm just trying to go with the flow you know uh and but it's just crazy how the series have blown up and I don't I don't even understand how much it has blown up that's a fact like I'm I'm not sure if I actually understand how it's going you know because I haven't seen uh the charts that much or anything I'm trying to just you know not focus on that I'm just focusing on the reactions and the response that we get um but it's just crazy It was, I feel like thinking back, I feel like it just went so natural. Uh, we never had like difficulties or, or insecurities or anything like that. It just went so smooth, friends, all of us, we still hang out, you know, we, we go out a lot in Stockholm here and just like go crazy, all of us. Um, it just went really, natural and we were lucky that we find each other and that we all find found this team that we became you know because when you got people good people around you and you know everything kind of makes it even better it all makes makes better results because we like each other for real like like person like friends you know so uh I don't know, it just went real natural. And we 
we worked a lot with our directors and we had a uh what is it called in english an intimacy coordinator yeah uh and we worked with her a lot me and edwin especially uh well i just worked with her and edwin obviously because i only had intimacy th scenes with edwin um and everything just went so good like we had a lot of fun we we made sure that we felt safe doing the intimacy scenes and the rehearsals you know uh because it's like a choreography chore chore choreograph scene yes. <laughs> uh but intimacy uh and she choreographed it together with us and then it became this magic little thing that you know everyone loves and it just went so naturally and it was so fun and, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> well, uh, we have like some stuff in common for sure. Uh, felt really, you know, insecure when it came to me getting the role. I was so anxious and I was just so, oh my God, I need this, I need this, I need this so bad. So I went in like full on like literally or else i'm gonna live and do this thing or i'm gonna die that was like my two options and i was just like no i have to get this role like i don't have a choice um so i just went in and it was because it's my debut and i i've never uh you know done anything when it comes to you know film at all before so it was really new for me uh, but as I said before, it all just came so naturally with everybody. And I just felt so safe directly. And I mean, I have a plus that Simon likes to sing because I sing so that we have that in common. And I felt that kind of strength. So when I had to show my voice and, you know, when it came to, okay, we're going to do this, you have to sing a little bit. I didn't sing a little bit. I sang a lot because <laughs> I felt like I had strength there and I felt like ain't nobody going to do this like me when it comes to singing. So I just had, if you guys want a Simon that sings good, pick me. <laughs> uh, but uh, so, I mean, we have a lot of common when it comes to friends as well and the family. Me and my mom talk Spanish a lot. Uh, we're Latin Americans and, you know, we have uh, we have a lot in common for sure. <sighs> well, I actually do not know what's going to happen. Uh, but if you see the series and if you think about what it tells you and shows you and what all the characters are at the end of the series, I feel like there's a lot that is going to happen. For example, you know, I don't want to spoil it to anybody, but you know, August and what Simon doesn't know. Oh, and there's just a lot of stuff that, you know, you can pick on and choose like what you want to write about. So I feel like if there is going to be a season two that I really hope that it is, um, then I really think it's going to be really, really good. Like the drama is going up to level two. I feel like it's going to get crazy. Mm. Oh my God, that is so, so hard. I feel like spontaneously right now, I just thought about the last scene i don't know if it's the season i mean episode five or six uh they meet up at school they're talking about you know what they're going to do and you know the prince is going to have this interview for the whole country if it is him or not and you know all of that that scene is really you know beautiful in a way and that they kind of are together in that you know, they support each other and they just hug and, you know, support each other. That scene is really beautiful. 